Hello there, Erner here, and today we will review Narikos. Narikos is led by Ajax the Lesser, very offensive attacking hero who is very good at having more speed or giving speed to allies, so you are able to perform maneuvers much better with this hero. His roster consists of militia, standard cheap fodder that is not recommended, very good Locrian riders that are perfect at charging thanks to Furious Charge, you can one, one card deploy them into the scrubs or trees, so you can make nice surprise and ambush tactics. Then we got standard spearman unit which is not recommended, very weak and not efficient. Instead we can go with Locrian bandits which are very nice flankers uh, with stalk. You can do ambush tactics very nicely with these guys and they have some useful javelins to throw as well. For the spearman alternative we got Locrian brigands which are weaker version of the spearmen, but uh, to compensate this you should put your shields to the back to use extra damage. So this is a more offensive and maneuverable frontline which you will be replacing during battle. So this is not for just holding the line and uh, taking damage, but instead to use the speed and damage from 200 millimod and pull back to recover with battlefield healing. Instead, if you want better frontline, go for light spearmen, which should be available from Watchtower. Similarly, light swordsmen are also from Watchtower. They are standard uh, flanker unit, which you need to use as flanker, otherwise it's weak at dueling. Then in mid game we got Locrian Spearman. It's slightly weaker than standard frontline, but again you are going to use 200 millimod and recover this unit to heal. Then we got Locrian Clubman, very nice uh, chargers thanks to their Furious Charge. They can do a lot of damage on the charge. And then we got Club Warriors, very, very solid flankers, duelists and very useful in all the campaigns. Last unit in the mid game are Locrian Bandit Leaders who are much stronger. They also have Stalk and Flanking, they have 3 javelins instead of 2 and you will be doing your ambushing and flanking very well with these guys. In the late game we got companions of lesser Ajax. These are solid frontline with decent weapon and melee defense which can be used offensively thanks to their 20 charge bonus which will get even better if you go to 2 hand melee mod. For the clubs, uh, Docker and Clubmasters they got even more charge, even better weapon and a lot of melee attack defense. These are very strong frontal chargers. And lastly we got the Locrian Swordmasters with amazing weapon, strong attack defense stats. It also has stats. So these guys are just like warriors of Ithaca. Then for the missiles we got Ekian slings, very good standard slings, always recommended. But I want you to try out Locrian Old Louds instead. They are very similar, but they have Stalk. So you can have Stalk uh, slingers in your battlefield. Very funny to use. Then we got Bowman, which is a weak unit, do not recommend it, otherwise go for skirmishers. 
very so solid javelin unit. Then the next upgrade of the slings are Loki and Veteran Slingers. They have 180 range, perfect for mid game. They also have stalk, so you will have advantage on the battlefield. And the last late game upgrade with uh, more damage, more ammunition, and better equipped are Loki and Armored Slingers. For the cavalry or for the chariots, we got uh, Achaean standard melee chariots, both uh, medium and heavy. And since this is more ambushing and skirmishing faction, we got access to skirmish chariot. Now I will show you very simple replay for for this faction. We are going to use some kind of ambushing against uh, enemy standard uh, army composition. We are going to try to go for flanks on one side and on this left side we got the stalk units. Locran bandits are well hidden, our hero is also hidden and we got slings as well. Um, we will have to show our, our units from the this front side so NMB will be facing us and we will be able to do some ambushing or flanking from these three sides. We need a little bit more time to bring our troops closer and then we are going to lure enemy into engaging with us. Uh, the trees are very useful for us so they can block uh, a lot of missiles, projectiles and soon, sooner or later we are going to pull the string and go fully with our ambushing forces. But first we need to bring our units closer. Our Lockean clubmen, which are solid chargers, they can do well in the f from the front. Together with club warriors they are very strong. So let's wait a little bit and then go ahead. We are going fully ahead and to catch them up our hero is able to use March of Hermes to give extra speed to all my units. And as you can see I'm going to engage, make a line right here. Our javelins are already hitting backs of their missiles and we are going to nicely sandwich them. So, with our quick, fast units, we were able to catch the missiles right on the start. Our Lockheed Clubman did a lot of damage and managed to kill a hero. And finally, the remaining forces are coming. Everybody is going to round. This is very easy, fast victory thanks to such ambush tactics. And I hope you will enjoy Narikos more. And that is all for now. See you later.